Happy New Year, Rachel. How are you? Happy New Year, Wendy. How is everything with you? It's so excited. I you started the new year, 2021. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm very excited. And for those of you who are joining us, you have joined Pathfinder Mastermind with Wendy Rosenthal and Rachel Madar. We are, uh, the path, we are Pathfinders and we help um, business people kind of work through uh, obstacles that they might encounter. We're there to help them brainstorm, to help them take their ideas through to creation. But we do it with a little bit of a twist. And that twist is a little bit of spirituality uh, thrown in. And we come to you live whenever we feel like it to share some of our experiences, some of our thoughts, and some of our tips on how to incorporate more spirituality in your business. And we do this because we really believe that when you add spirituality in your business, not only are you more successful, but you create a more successful business for everyone that you touch, your partners, your employees, um, and it doesn't take a lot. We're pretty practical, aren't we, Rachel? You know, I know sometimes people go, Absolutely. oh, spirituality, it's like way up, I, every fairy sit on a mountain type, type, type of <laughs> That's so not who we I are. Wanted, yeah. Exactly. And I, I just wanted to add, it's all, not just for current business people. We came, um, we had a whole discussion of, with uh, the last year of 2020 with people who found themselves um, wanted to be more independent, uh, changing their course in life in, in to become their uh, business people mm -hmm. and supported them throughout that last year. So if you have any idea that you want to create uh, uh, and manifest in your life as business, we, this is also something that we're here to support. And as Wendy said, together, spiritual and practical, practical. together. It's like mind blowing. Yeah. We, we, we really blowing. like to bridge that. We really like to bridge that gap and it is a wide gap. So we hope that these uh, live broadcasts yes. give you some insight and some great tips and some things that you can take into your, to your day. Now, Rachel, we know right now, everybody is talking about the new year and what do we always talk about at new year? How are we gonna do it differently this year? What are our resolutions? Stuff like that. Yeah. And you and I were talking about the fact that, you know, we didn't wanna ignore that that's where we're at, but we also wanted to kind of think of something to talk about that is, is something that it's beyond a resolution, right? It's something that you can put into your life every single day and it's not hard and it's, it, in fact, it really helps not only um, helps you with your business, but it helps center you. And, and really what that is, is the foundation of how you connect kind of spirituality with, with your business. So we kind of term it under the idea of a to-do list, right? So we all have to-do lists. Right absolutely like we all have to-do lists where's your to-do list I know you have here one. this is this is my to-do list for today for example exactly. and you see I'm like also using amazing uh, um, support uh, work hard dream big this is what I found and it's like supporting me uh, on my to-do list today um, but to-do list it doesn't have to be <laughs> Here we go. Like to-do list is not just to have to be with business. Like we want to take it to any areas in our life. Uh, and there's a reason why there is a to-do list, right? Yeah. Like and, and where a person come and, and write to themselves down and, and like the plan for what should I do today or what will be this week or what will be this month or what will be this year? Exactly. We know it's important. If you're in business, you know, it's important to have an objective, to know where you're headed, to have a business plan and to have your to-do list. So we believe that having those lists are actually really important. And sometimes though, when you're kind of moving through those lists, um, you know, it, you get stuck, you get to the end of the day and you've only done half and you're feeling frustrated and, oh my gosh, I got to roll this over. And not only that, sometimes the things on your to-do list don't come out exactly where, the, where you want it to be. And, and so what we found in working with our clients that when we help them come up with, with, with what we call the real to-do list, um, which is things that you can do to align yourself before you enter your day, that the, thing, that the actions on your physical to-do list actually become not easier per se, but moving through it becomes much less of a chore, right? 
because you've now centered yourself. And I want Rachel just to talk a little bit about kind of the spiritual concept of why do we even need to take action? Why do we, why do we need to have a do list spiritually? We know why we have to do it practically, but why do we do it spiritually? First of all, just practically from my point of view is like clearing my thoughts. You know, we all have thoughts of like, oh, I need to do this and I need to make this. And whether it's like to take the kids to, um, to the doctor office or we have this week to meet with these people and we have, so just like in a, in a 1% practical level is like really to clear our mind, to clear our thought. Even with my daughter, I have a daughter 13 years old and I taught her last week I told her, you know, we have to do this. You need to clean your closet. You need to catch up at school project and, and all of this. And I suggested to her, you know, if you write a to-do list and you know that you have this list and you like literally crossing them as you completing the, the chores, um, I think you might feel better with you. So mm -hmm. she literally created this list on her iPhone. She even posted it on her Instagram page, which is a different conversation. <laughs> but uh, she was so excited every time she completed a chore and she, and she felt like really comfortable with herself. So spiritually speaking, there's a whole understanding that when we ask or when we um, uh, share our desire or creating our wish list, energy-wise, whether you believe in a higher energy, creator, light, uh, God, spiritually speaking, all our desires are already there, are already fulfilled for us. In, if we can say in a whole basket of, uh, of light out there in an in infinite uh, space, that everything exists for us. So everything we wish, like if we want to start a diet on Monday, if we would like to gain, um, a, reach uh, $10,000 a month, if we would like this project to work, whatever we wish for in our life, in all areas in our life, spiritually uh, speaking, or the spiritual concept is that everything is already there for us. The question is, well, what are the actions that we are about to take? And not just action, is, is our thought co co corresponding with our actions that will bring it into manifestation. Exactly. So the prerequisite, spiritually speaking, the prerequisite is first of all to understand the condition to start anything is to understand it's already there. So once you've done that, it's already there. So and that's and that really actually it's so funny it kind of takes the load off a little bit. Now, just because it's already there doesn't mean that you're bringing it into this into this plane and that's that's the practical side. So knowing that it's there really can give you a mindset that it, that it's attainable because it's already like it's already there. You just need to go open the door, open the gate, whatever you whatever visualization you want to make. But this is why we talk about the real to-do list because the real to-do list is about how to align yourself with that energy that's already existing, right? In order for that energy to kind of come into our lives, we got to be aligned. So practically speaking, when we're talking about a to-do list, the real to-do list, which should precede your to-do list, your practical to-do list every day, what we suggest is you take a few minutes each morning before you start your day. And, and we're literally talking five to 10 minutes, okay? And do a few things, right? So the first thing is we really recommend you wake up and have just a quick moment of gratitude. Just like, hey, I am so excited and grateful that I woke up, that uh, I have a house that I live in, that I have a business that I'm going to, that I have the opportunity to have the meeting that maybe is coming up this afternoon. Whatever, whatever you're grateful for, if that thought in, in the moment that you awaken is of gratitude, the, your whole day shifts. And it really makes what your to-do list easier because you have the opportunity to actually do it, right? And that's what we wanna right. do. We wanna do our to-do list. The second thing we like to talk, and, and there's many ways to do this, take a moment and meditate, even a quick meditation, right? And I, when, I, when it comes to meditation, there might be people here that will say, oh, meditating, I'm not into this. I just wanted to clear. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, the different people call uh, meditation, um, uh, perceive meditation in different ways. I call meditation as intention. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's like really a one minute to see your day, visualize your day with the to-do list that you have, visualize how you accomplish them, how things are working to the best uh, that it can work out. Uh, to the best result that you want to have this uh, week or this month, but on a daily basis, as Wendy said, like, yeah, just to have the intention, like put the intention, the energy that you put in every, everything that you write on your list. Exactly. And, and you know what I, the reason I raised my hand is I'm not great at meditating, but I've learned that if, even if I take two or three minutes and just be quiet before I start my day, then literally it's like you can you can tell how your day is different um exercise is a great thing if it's something you do any every day that's where you're connecting with your body and your soul amazing right take but but go into that exercise with a little bit of intention i'm exactly. doing that exercise so i can align myself so i can have more energy for the day um one of the things that we've talked to many clients about is even going out and if you can even touch nature for a minute, if you have a backyard or if you live in an apartment, walk out front and just breathe in the fresh air. Um, it helps can, when you connect with nature, you're connecting with the natural world, which is the universe. And that helps to align you. So, the, you know, the real to do, I mean, there's, there's so many there things. Are yeah, so many things. That so many different things. It's really oh. like based on like, and we want to make sure that whatever we say it's a general thing obviously per person it might change and and work and uh, and of course if you have any question how to manifest your dreams or how to manifest your ideas business wise and and uh, spiritual uh, wise or any in any level you're welcome to to contact us of course but um just to make sure i, I just want to um give you one tip that it comes to my mind is that we don't be overwhelmed if you see that you are not uh, uh, fulfilling your uh, list for today. Mm -hmm. At least if you made one thing out of the list, and if you made steps towards that, and every day you choose to do a little bit more, this is amazing because you're a few steps ahead. And remember, really, the only point is, is to help you align yourself to that energy that already, that already is existing for what you want to accomplish. Exactly. So it's, it's actually, for me, when I look at it that way, it makes it easier for me to do that in the, in the morning. And it also makes it easier for me to accomplish my to-do list because then I feel that energy. I feel like I can get there. And at the end of the day, even if I haven't finished my practical to-do list, I don't stress about it as much because I'm, I've got a process, right? And I'm going to start the process over and I'm going to, and, and it becomes easier. And that's what we want. Business should be fun. Career should be fun. Living should be fun. And even with challenges, what we try and do is understand fun. I don't want to diminish it, but what it should be enjoyable. You should feel fulfilled. And when you start your day with the real to-do list, that fulfillment is easier. And then you can find it there's in a, parts of your life. There's an example that comes to mind uh, just to explain what does it mean that it's already exist you know like um, uh, all of us now uh, finished the 2020 and about to to do our tax returns and some of you <laughs> Rachel uh, with, why did you remind me <laughs> and that over here I have till February <laughs> yeah and some of you that you you already probably know that you're going to get a refund x amount of money of uh, money back just I, I just want you to think what, uh, you, when you know that you're going to get X amount of money right now uh, coming to you within the check or, or someone that you know that you close the deal with and you know that within 30 days you're going to get that check, how do you feel today when you know you're going to get this X amount of money? Right. It's like we're already there. We already feel like, great, I have, it doesn't matter, $1,000, $10,000, doesn't matter how much money is, I know that it's scheduled to arrive to me. 
what the way we live today is like as if we already got this right. money, right? We right. know that we're going to get this refund. So what we do, we're already making plans. Oh, what will I do with this $10,000 that I'm about to get? Oh, I'm going to do this and this and this. So we're already planning to create something or use this money that we still do not have, but we know it's there. So this is like um, an immediate example just to ex express or explain to us what does it mean that our desires already fulfilled. In the spiritual realm, it already exists. So now create your life knowing that this refund is coming towards you. And use the tools like the real yes. to-do list and your practical to-do list to, to again, to align you so that that energy can come into your life. And, and it's really amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where you see the immediate, the immediate effects of it. I mean, at least the feedback that we've received from our clients is, wow, when I do my real to-do list every morning, I, I feel the energy. And when, when I don't, I don't. And so we just really want to bring you uh, things that you can do easily and practically to bridge that gap between the, the, the business, the career, the high powered world that we're, you know, we're all running in and, and that spiritual energy that gives you the power to do it. Exactly. All exactly. right. Well, Definitely we clearing, clearing our mind and like, I'm ready to, I have some more things that I want to add to my to-do list right after it brought me different ideas, this conversation. Yeah. And also, I also don't want, you know, we, we, we've all experienced that kind of, I'm going to make a resolution. And then by January 21st, you're already like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't keep it up, you know? And, 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 and that's because there's a lot of expectations set into resolutions, right? But if every day you have your, your time to set your objectives both in right. an intentional, like a mindset way and in a practical way, you don't ever really need to have those resolutions because every day you're renewing exactly what it is that you want to do for that day. Um, and both in a, in a, in a mindset internal work in the internal work, which will have much greater effect on, you know, the external work that you're Absolutely. doing and you're getting a paycheck for, and also bringing a lot more fulfillment. So Absolutely. We, we thank you for joining us. We don't know when we'll be back, but I'm sure it'll be sometime this week because we have a lot on our minds and we want to share. If you have any questions or would like to know more about Pathfinder and the work that we do with um, businesses, with business people and with entrepreneurs and just actually with pretty much everybody, <laughs> if you're not happy in your career, you know, sure. it's uh, we, we do work with a lot of different people. You can visit us at pathfinder one to onecom that's pathfinder the number one t-o the number one.com um, you can check out our facebook page or our instagram accounts and we would love to get your feedback and our questions so if you have any please put them in the comment section and we will be sure to reach out to you thanks again for your time we yes. wish you an incredibly um, productive fulfilling day Go out there, make tons of money, be successful, uh, grow your business, share with your employees and, uh, and have a fantastic day. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.